Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are doing another tiny home Yay! build. I have been having so much fun doing these homes you guys and it makes me so happy to hear you say that you like them as well. When I enjoy filming something and you guys tell me that you enjoy watching it, it's just this like beautiful, beautiful thing. <laughs> if this is your first tiny home build of mine that you are watching, I like to recreate homes from the YouTube channel called Never Too Small where they tour uh tiny homes that have smart ways to store things and just use objects as like a multi-use kind of thing and just really take advantage of the space and a lot of their videos and a lot of the homes that they tour are super unique and they seem like they would be fun to build in the sims which is why i started doing it i just got really inspired watching the videos i found this channel because uh i moved into an apartment and I was like, oh, I really want some like small space solutions. So I started watching this. I got a lot of cool ideas. So yeah, I'm gonna build another house from the channel today, which I'm really excited about. It is called a Hong Kong small treehouse loft apartment. That's another thing. A lot of them are apartments. So I have to like completely wing the exterior, which I'm not a huge fan of because I don't really like building or like landscaping, like the actual walls. I like the decorating aspect of building in The Sims 4, but hey, it is what it is, you know? I do not have a Celsius today, guys, because I already had one. I know, I know, I know. I haven't, I feel like I haven't cracked open an energy drink in a video in a long time. I'm really sorry about that. I need to just learn to wait to have my energy drink until I film or until I stream or whatever. But I do have a cup of juicy juice. Um, this is a, this is a mango passion fruit juice or something like that by Minute Maid. It's sugar free and it's so dang good. I recommend it, I recommend it. And this cup though, it has little suns on it, but you can't see it because they're the same color as the juice. <laughs> anyway, y'all, cheers to you, cheers to this video. Let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys the never too small video first. You guys can get like an overview of what the house looks like and then I'll show you the floor plan and then we'll get into building it. All right, let's do it, cheers. I apologize for the noise. There's a loud truck outside, the AC is running, and there's just like a lot of white noise going on. I'm very, very sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so this is the house. Let's just have a look, shall we? So this is the front door. Look at the dog! <laughs> you walk in, there's a lot of like interesting colors being used. Um, it seems more like uh, an uh, apartment for like a masculine sim, which is going to be different because I'm not really used to that. A lot of my builds are very girly. Here's the floor plan. I think he knocks down a wall and adds a loft. So that should be fun. The bedroom is going to be above the dining room with like a little ladder getting up there, which is kind of cool. Like, look at that. That's really awesome. I don't really know how I'm going to be able to replicate that, like, yellow pattern, but I usually figure it out. When we do these builds, they're not exact. They're more, uh, inspired by. <laughs> so, yeah, we are going to have to change a couple of things. Just a heads up. Like, look at that kitchen. That is so interesting. I have no idea how we're going to do that, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, and I think I do need to use CC for this. I'm not 100% sure, though, but... We'll figure it out. So yeah, that is everything. I know it's such a small house. It takes like no time at all to see all of the rooms. Let's go for this 20 by 15 lot in Oasis Springs. I like a lot of the Oasis Spring lots, especially if they have uh, grass and not like the deserty sand. Uh, I don't know. It's just really nice and bright here. I like it a lot. Okay, so let me have a look at the floor plan again. So we basically have... <laughs> A box again. I think it's every house is so boxy because it's... Oh, let me turn on tiny home. I always like to make these homes tiny home as well so you get that skill boost. But um, yeah, it seems as though every house I build is a box, but that's just because it's an apartment normally. So it's a little bit tricky trying to make apartments into homes, as you guys can imagine. Okay, so here I have my base. I just have a little area sectioned off for the bathroom. This is going to be the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, and then up above, we are going to have our loft situation, which is going to be right there. I think a bed will fit there, I hope. Three tiles, three tiles, yeah, okay. So, in order to make a loft, you just click on the room that you don't want the ceiling on. Yeah, and then you remove the floor. Why did it remove? 
I didn't want it to remove the floor from the bathroom though. Yeah, so the only part I want the floor to be gone is going to be this. Yes, so that we can have this like lost situation above the, uh, the dining room. Everything else looks fine. We are still tiny home territory, which is good. Yeah, we can even like bring this in to make the house look like a little bit mm, not so boxy, you know what I mean? We could do something fancy with the outside later, but I just wanted to get uh, the main floor plan down. So the door is going to go there, and then we've got a door to the bathroom right there. And then we need our ladder up to the loft, which is right here in the video, but I can't put it there for some reason. I guess I'm gonna have to put it there. I don't know. Let me see if a bed will fit up here too. Yeah, I don't think they can get in there. So we're gonna have to extend this out. One tile. Maybe we should extend this out a couple tiles as well. So give us a little bit more space. Boom. Okay, and then right off of the living area over here, there is a round balcony, which is kind of cool. Actually, it's like a, it's kind of a funky shape. It kind of looks like an L with like, like a rounded L. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. So we can do a little, just a little rounded balcony. Yeah, that'll be nice. And I think from what I remember, there is a nice big sliding glass door. The eco lifestyle flooring is and will always be my favorite. <laughs> it's just so nice. I love it so much. I use it in like all my builds pretty much. And then we have this really cool teal accent wall, which I am a big fan of. I have no freaking idea how we're going to do this like, this uh, lofty area, it has this yellow slatted pattern, kind of. I don't think that we have any fences that look like that, but maybe I can just like replace the wall with a yellow fence, like maybe uh, one of these from Eco. Oh man, if only this came in yellow. That would actually be really freaking cool and really close to what we need. But upstairs, the wallpaper in there is like this, it's like a, a, a wood, wood slats. It pretty much is the same color as the floor. Let me see. I'm noticing a lot of these homes in these videos use a lot of like, this like wood plank wall and flooring. A lot of the times they like match perfectly with each other. Okay, I'm gonna use this one from Island Living. Yeah, it looks very wood up here. I can put it on that side, but not this side? What is this? Oh, it's cause there's a wall right there for this bat. That's so weird. I hate this game sometimes, guys. It's like the littlest things in building don't work for the stupidest reasons. Okay, I am like dying to do this kitchen. I don't, <laughs> I know for a fact we don't have any like uh, brass cabinets because that is what we've got going on in this house. But I will try and find something very similar. I might have to use CC depending, 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 depending on what base. Yeah, there ain't no way. There ain't no way. No, no, no. I'm definitely gonna have to use CC. Man, this game really needs some like metallic counters. That would be so sick, wouldn't it? Dang, guys, these CC counters right here are almost perfect. The color is just a little bit off, but whoo, that's pretty dang close. Okay, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to go with these and uh, I will link, I will link the uh, CC creator in the description so that if you guys want, you can download. I, um, their, their CC is like, I feel like it is very trustworthy. It's very similar to the items in the game. Um, yeah, I just don't feel like you will be disappointed with Felix Andre and Harry's um, CC. This is, uh, these counters are by Harry herself. So this is kind of cool. This CC is by um, Pierre Sim, the MCM Kitchen Counters Island. So it's just like a little floaty piece of something something, but it looks like it fits perfectly within <laughs> Harry's counters. So I'm just gonna throw them in here so that I can use the same ones as the island because the island looks like it's just 
two of these little floating things with one of these at the end. We're doing a little finagling here, guys. We're making it work. It's a little funky, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? I don't even know how I'm gonna do this backsplash. It's just like gold. Like, how am I gonna do that? Kinda looks like this. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> I don't mind that actually, it doesn't look terrible. Well, since we are using CC, I'm gonna use this marble from Felix Andre and Harry for the bathroom. And then we have some under the cabinet lights. I'm going to be using these ones from MCM, Metal Sconce 2. Okay, let's step away from the kitchen for now. I'm going to, I think I might change the wallpaper to, uh, I, if it's, it feels like this is the right color, but uh, I don't know. I think it might be a little bit too bright. All right, in the living room, there is a, a, a very interesting piece of artwork, if I do say so myself. It is just a black square. Um, I don't think I have anything of the sort, so I'm just going to find, wait a minute, what is this? Oh my goodness. That is too funny. I do have something like that. This is also from the MCM collection. Wow. I highly recommend this pack, guys. You will find some interesting things. Okay, now we need... I can't believe I freaking found it. I cannot believe it. That is so hilarious. Uh, I need a black leather couch. This one actually kind of works. Just trust me guys, download everything from Harry and download everything from Pierre Sim, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Don't know why I have to sing everything. Maybe we can do like a wider door instead of this one so that it fills up the space a bit more. Like this one. Mm-mm-mm! Such a nice door. Okie dokie then. What shall we do next? Oh, let's do the floor for the kitchen. Yeah, that's the one, baby. That's the one. Oh, that's way better. Yeah, just to separate the kitchen space from the living room a little bit. This is the uh, fence for window shopping from get to white. There, that's looking good. This is really looking like a dude's house. I ain't even gonna lie. All right, so the coffee table. That's a very interesting coffee table. There's so many like interesting things in this home. Yeah, there's lots of like marble in this home, I'm noticing. Oh man, this one, this one, I think this is it. It is very similar in color. Um, yeah, this is from, I don't even know what pack this is with the peacock, but it's not CC. It's just, it's a really nice table and it's got some books on it. I am on the hunt for just little stackable books for the coffee table. Very nice, very nice, okay. I don't know how, but uh, the person who lives here managed to squeeze a little end table right next to the couch. And it's kind of got like a little blanket draped over it. And why do I feel like we got something like that in the high school pack? Maybe it wasn't high school, maybe it was werewolves. And that's why I'm thinking high school, because it's like, fairly new. Let's see. So maybe it was the camper's kit. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I'll find it eventually. I promise. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. The camper's kit. We're just going to squeeze that in the corner there. Move this over. Boom. And then the color is like, oh God, these are so bright. Do I even want to do this? I don't think I want to. Wow, I just freaking did all that searching for nothing. Sounds about right. Yeah, I'm doing this block from uh, Seasons. And then over here, we just have like a little hanging pendant. Um, gosh, it looks exactly like this, actually. What is this? A Logical Sims Tiny Living Plus Edition. Do any of you guys know like why some CC does this where you can see like the grid lines and things? If you guys know, let me know. And if there's something that I can do to fix it. Okay, and now we just need to make like a faux curtain for this big sliding glass door. I move the handle to be on this side so that the curtains will not get in the way. Um, yeah, something like that will work. This is from the um, Cold Brew by Pierre Sim. On the end table, there's like some kind of like laptop bag purse thing, but I think I'm gonna put a plant. I feel like we really need one. <laughs> Just to liven up the joint a bit. There's no rug in here either. <laughs> 
This is strange. I am not used to building like this. Okay, let's move on to the dining room area. I think it's really cute. There's like these like egg chairs and they're mismatching. Um, yeah, it just feels really cute. There's also like a huge window right, right here. I use the Eco Lifestyle stuff so much. I think it is my most used pack when it comes to building, for sure. Okay, I just added a couple windows from Eco there. Um, there is actually another curtain on this side. And then we have like a nice little, I don't even know what to call these things. Accent table, entertainment center, storage. I'm, I don't I don't really know like one of these things. What are they? Accent table? Okay, Sims if you say so I believe you I'm going to use this one from dine out I feel like it matches with all of the other marble things in the house and then oh my goodness I cannot believe how much clutter Is on that table. Oh, it's hurting my soul Anyways, we're definitely gonna come back to that um Okay, let's do the dining table. It's a white tabletop with some brown legs. I feel like this table matches the vibes more. The shape is more correct. Ooh, actually this one, definitely this one. This is uh, this is also by Harry. And the table seems like super wide, almost as if there's like two there. Okay, now to find some eggy chairs. Uh, they kind of, have this sort of shape going on. I got five on it. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think, I think, mm -hmm. there's another light blue. And then this one over here is very interesting because it's, what is happening? Hello? It's black or like that. In the center of the table, I'm losing my mind if you can't tell. In the center of the table, there is a long tray with some glasses, some flowers, and a salt and pepper shaker. Oh, I got a couple of options here. So we've got this one, we've got this one, we've got that one, and this one, we've got a round one, we've got that one. I'm thinking we go with the long one. Those look like lilies, which makes me really happy. Lilies are one of my favorite flowers, and I do believe we have some lilies in this game. They're actually one of my favorite flowers to use. These from Dine Out. The lilies are orange. Just put those in the middle there. Oh, oh, that was really cute. I love the lighting in here. Oh, the MCM mug is so much cuter. We gotta use this. I'm actually gonna head back over to the kitchen over here and put this teapot because there is a kettle. Yeah, I gotta work on cluttering up this freaking thing, even though I really don't want to. Oh my God, look at this one. It has that, the tequila with the bell. That's funny. Wait, we do have a bag that we can put over here. That's funny. Maybe I'll just put it on the floor next to the couch. Mmm, yes, there's one of these by the door and we can hang things on it like the scarf. Okay, and then on this wall right here, there is like another, uh, one of those things that I don't know what to call it, an accent table. It's kind of a high one. There's no all black swatch. Oh, I guess we could just flip them around. Is it coming out of the wall? We can cover it with something. Above this, we have a shelfy shelf. Uh, it looks round. I don't think we have any round shelves, huh? I don't even think I have any round shelves that are CC. It's kind of a weird thing. Like a half circle shelf, you know? I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but I hate how blank this wall is. So we gonna add ourselves a nice lean in picture. Maybe not a leaning picture, maybe just a wall picture. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice blue. It ties in with the dining table. And then, can you even see it? Let's see. Uh, oh, you can. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is looking cute. I wish so bad we could paint ceilings. I wish, I wish. Oh, I need to change the freaking wallpaper right there. Holy. All right, let's throw the bed up here. There's a bed and a TV, wow. And a very small window. Small but wide. 
I changed the uh, wallpaper, by the way. This is uh, uh, Eco Lifestyle. Mm hmm. That looks pretty vibey. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> And then there is a single wall light right there. Such a plain bedroom, but that is all that there is up here. Also, if you're wondering where this person's closet is, it is down here against this wall. But I don't really know how we would do that. You can get away with like not having a closet at all in your Sims game though. Like, as long as you have a mirror of some sort, you're solid. That's all you really need. Alrighty, guys. Next order of business is the bathroom, which also looks extremely cluttered, and it kind of stresses me out. If this is your first video of mine that you are watching, um, I hate cluttering. All right, so you walk in, you have this beautiful walk-in shower. I love making walk-in showers. They're my favorite. So, grabbing this MCM shower. Gonna put that there, and then... I have these glass dividers from Pierre Sim or Harry. I'm not 100% sure. Yes, they are MCM. MCM glass dividers. We're going to be using these for our shower. Just going to place one there, place one there, and then we're going to use this one. No, nope. I kind of want it to look like a shower door, but it's blocking. Could always do it like that. Oh, we could do it like that too. I wonder if the Sim will be able to use it. All right, here is the bathroom so far. Um, I'm wondering, cause the bathroom has this like very nice marble shelf above the toilet. How am I gonna do that? I know that Harry has some like marble slabs that you can use for random things and I'm wondering if I can yeah these marble slabs like what is this even used for concrete decorative shelf I mean yeah I mean we can... I wonder if the sink will be usable because that looks pretty freaking nice it looks super expensive and then we can like load up the top with um like little decorative things like it looks like this person has a really expensive cologne and just some other random bathroom things. Ah, that sucks. It's kind of all getting cut off, but I mean, it could still work. There's one of these mirrors on the wall as well. This is also from Felix, Andre, and Harry. See? They have everything, pretty much. It's crazy. It's just so crazy. And then over here on this side of the wall, there's towel racks. Oh yeah, we need to put something here to hide the drawers. We'll probably put another one of these concrete slabs. All right, bathroom is done. I'm going to add just a little fuzzy rug in here, I think. Do I want that fuzzy rug? Hmm. Oh, and I almost forgot the toilet. What's wrong with me? Seriously, what is wrong with me? I don't know. I just have a thing against toilets, apparently. Yeah, so we're gonna use this uh, concrete slab. Where is the toilet anyway? Mm, if we use this one from Spa Day, we can cover it up like that, even when the walls are down, but when the walls are up, it looks like it's coming out of this concrete slab. <laughs> it looks so bougie, oh my god. Also, it's kind of bugging me that this mirror is the only gold thing in here, so I might make this fixture gold as well, and then maybe that gold too? Oh, there's a TV in the living room on the floor? that separates the living from the dining room? That is very interesting. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to do this without blocking the door. I don't really want to put the TV on the floor though. So maybe we should just like put it right here on this very simple entertainment center. Oh no. I don't like the way that the back of, the, of TVs look. I really hate this, but I'm gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> Two very enthusiastic thumbs up. Okay, now let's work on this exterior, shall we? We have a couple of extra tiles to play with, which is good. Um, it's not gonna do anything to the inside of the house. Just want to make it not as boxy, but then I have to be careful with the way I do things because I don't know how to roof. <laughs> now let's figure out what color we wanna 
paint this bad boy. What do the other houses have? Slats and bricks and slats and bricks. All right. Alright guys, uh, here is the finished exterior. Just did something really simple. Let me grab a sim, move them in, and see if the house is functional. I'm always so scared that when I move a sim into house, into a house and I accidentally press unfurnished, all of my work would have been gone. Holy moly. Okay, so I have Max here from my legacy challenge. A young Max. Hi, here we are. There you go, sir. Have at it. Go check out your new crib. Look, we're gonna head in with you. I always like to follow them in. It's kind of like a cute little thing. Okay, so you walk in. Shut the door, please. Thank you. Uh, we just have this cute little area to hang things by the door bathroom let's just look at that real quick shall we Ooh, so bougie so beautiful toilet check sink check shower check uh oh what happened to the glass panel right there gosh darn it how did that even happen i don't know i'll fix it though uh and then we have our very plain kitchen i hate how the counters do that sometimes but uh, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan. It's a little bit too plain for me and I don't like the way that the walls don't match the counters. <laughs> I might change that actually. We have our living room, which actually is not horrible. Like the natural light that's coming in and I don't know, I just like, it's very neat. And I also really like that as well. It's kind of like a cool, this loft area, it, like the effect is really cool. I do rather like that. <laughs> and then over here, we... What happened to my... Oh my god, what happened to my tray accessories? You guys, what? Anyway, um, yeah, there's that. Then let's head up the ladder. I don't know why he keeps going up there. There's a TV downstairs as well, but whatever. I'm not going to question you. This is the bedroom. Oh, how cute! I love this for you, Max. I really do. Dang it, I was hoping that window would be hidden. I might have to move it down a notch, but this is like a whole vibe. He seems like he's enjoying it. Okay, let's head back downstairs, shall we? I think he's going to follow us. I might delete the countertops just because that like glitching is really annoying me. Um, head out to the balcony here. We have a grill. Oh shoot, the gate. I need to change the gate position. Of course you're gonna grill, of course. Hot dogs. A little nice seating area. Everything is little, little, little. I swear I say little like a million times. <laughs> it's so nice out here. I love Oasis Springs. We have a nice area to eat. Um, some planters if he feels like gardening. The trash cans. And yeah, that is it. It's a very small house. It's quite nice though. I'm a fan.
Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's episode of Never Too Small. Thank you guys so much for watching though. Um, if you do end up using this build, let me know. Let me know how you like it in the comments. Oh, we're missing a column as well. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for watching. And if you would like, please subscribe to my channel. I have a ton of Sims content from builds to cast videos to let's plays, mainly let's plays. But I've been really enjoying making these build videos and I've been making them every week for the past... Oh my god. How many weeks has it been now? Is this week four or three? I forgot. Anyways, subscribe if you would like. It would make you very happy. Come join the family. And also, if you would like, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye!